Look at that house, bitch. Can I play? Bitch, we look like we're Japan school girls. It's kind of embarrassing. I really depend on the guys it's lauren here welcome back to my youtube channel so today i am going to this really really huge manga bookstore and it's friday it's the weekend i don't know why all my vlogs lately have just been like weekend vlogs but like quite frankly school's been pretty hectic lately a school vlog will be coming soon and some more reading vlogs but right now we're just weekend vlogs it's the easiest time to vlog um today i am going to this um japanese store with one of my friends from japanese i'm taking japanese this semester by the way in case i didn't like make that abundantly clear on my vlogs and i'm really really excited about it and my teacher or like sensei is actually pretty dope so he usually like points us towards different things to go to and he pointed us towards this manga store which i already have my eye on i mean it's called kin what's it called again my memory is just so bad uh kinokunia kinokunia i think that's what it's called <laughs> i think that's how you pronounce it but but um, it's this really huge manga uh, Japanese bookstore and um, they just have like a lot of things like they have Japanese textbooks They have manga in Japanese. You have manga in English. They have like plushies toys little craft section Like it's a huge store. So I'm really excited to go I'm going with a friend that I made in this class So really really excited about that also like going on um, on Sunday is Japan fest Which is like this really like huge Japanese festival apparently that happens in New York Which is crazy because I never heard of that before but that's going on on Sunday and I will also be going with friends to that so kind of some a japanese weekend thing kind of surprising but yeah we're doing that this weekend and yeah i'm just really really excited just because like obviously if you are new to my channel well even if you're not you probably already know i'm a huge we so i'm excited and also like just like anime and manga in general has made me more interested in japanese culture so that's why i'm taking japanese this semester that's why i'm going to like all of these like different places because i want to immerse myself in it more and just i don't know just like learn more culturally so that's really cool for me and yeah i don't know i'm excited to take you guys along with me i'm hoping i don't scare my friends with this vlog camera because i don't think she knows i'm a youtuber <laughs> but we're just gonna go on and move on but i just wanted to let you guys know what i was doing that's what's up and yeah I'm just really, really excited. Anyways, let's just get right into it. Stuffed animals. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this main floor here is mostly this actual box. Ah. And then upstairs. Order. Upstairs is where the money's at. <laughs> hey yo. Where our money's about to be spent anyways. <laughs> yeah.
the music. Oh my god, I love this song. What does it taste like? It's interesting. Uh, it's like spicy lemonade. Really? It's like really addictive. <laughs> okay, next. Ooh, this looks good. That looks good. This whole outer part is just bread. Yeah. Yeah, maybe you try the savory one first. Mm. Yeah. Ham and cheese. Mm -hmm. I don't think you can ever miss with ham and cheese. Yeah. <laughs> Randomly in a clothing store. <laughs> oh, it's so fucking pretty here. Yeah. What the fuck? I'm the dumbass I should have filmed this a month ago. Yeah, it's been a month since I actually like filmed this video, but uh, I still have not done the manga haul and I figured you guys would want to see it. So let's just get right into it. This is the stuff I got from the manga store. Uh, I got about like five volumes for myself. And then um, let me just start off by saying like I got a couple stuff for my siblings, for my sister. She's also a big Haikyuu fan like me. So I got her like this Haikyuu like collectible manga volume thing. Gave little profiles of each of the characters and just like fun little art by uh, the normal manga artist. And it was just, wow. So anyways, <laughs> it basically just gave like character profiles, cool, fun uh, art by the manga artist and yeah, just a lot of cool things. So, and then for my brother, I got this like this limited edition Japanese magazine volume thing that had like One Piece in it. It has a couple of One Piece collectibles in there because he's like a huge One Piece fan, which yeah, I do still need to get on One Piece. I need everyone to stop telling me to do that, but I just haven't had the time yet. And by the way, if I sound like congested, it's because I'm low key recovering from uh, the brick of death, so. I've had a cold in two years and I'm kind of still suffering from it, so excuse the nasally voice and effect. But anyways, back into the volumes I got for myself. So I picked up Blue Period, which at this point, if you are a huge weeb like me, you know it's been adapted into an anime. Um, I'm still not done with the first volume yet, but I'm really um, enraptured by the story. It's about this boy who basically is a delinquent and yet somehow a really good student. He has basically everything he needs in order to be on the right track for like a good fortuitous future, but um, something about it just feels empty for him and he discovers that it actually ends up really really liking art so he's kind of on this journey of determining not whether or not he wants to be an artist considering like his parents are pretty much against it and everything like that and just like figuring out like how he really wants to express himself and live his life and I think it's honestly been um, really enrapturing so far there's some aspects of the story that I find a little slow and stilted but honestly would highly recommend I mean it's becoming an anime so I think that kind of speaks for itself after I'm done with this I would definitely be watching the show moving on though I picked up banana fish. I actually was gonna make a video to talk about it on my channel, but ended up like falling through. So I might take a moment to talk about my favorite animes of all time so far, because this is definitely one of them. Banana fish is really amazing. It's about this um, boy named Ash and also another one named Eiji. And they're an American Japanese duo who end up coming together in the most unlikely of circumstances and running away from the mafia. And so that ends up being what happens. It's a lot of heavy themes are attacked in this book. Just like a lot of like really really heavy themes about like gangs and dealing with things too soon in life. It's just it's a lot. It's really really heavy and I don't even think I could fully uh, explain it in my current state and after not watching it for a while but it was amazing and it brought me to tears and I literally it was insane. So yeah really really loved this anime which is why I picked up a volume. Um, I mean actually I think it takes place in like the 80s. I'm not sure when it was written though but I know it definitely takes place in the 80s so it explains the poofy hair that Ash has he's the guy on the cover and yeah this one is volume 12 it's volume 12 one of my favorite arcs in the anime so that's why I picked it up and I'm excited to read it and actually just like look into the volume and I kind of am obsessed with like the 
completely yellow cover and I'm looking forward to see what's inside. Like I said before in the video, all of the volumes from the store are wrapped in plastic. So it was in order to protect them because they're all like paper. The next one I got, Persona 5. I honestly can't tell you much about this manga because yeah, it was recommended to me by Chloe, the girl that you saw in the video. And I don't know, I just thought the character designs look nasty. I'm a ho, I'm a little ho for any for any kind of um, edgy uh, anime high school scheme. So yeah, it's kind of, you see it. I like with Kakaguri, I'm a sister of high school of the elite and I have a feeling this will be become a new obsession of mine. So I'm looking forward to reading this and it's called Persona 5 in case anyone was interested. And if you've read it, let me know down below. Let me know your thoughts on it, but I'm really excited to hop into it. This is volume two, by the way, I need volume one, but they didn't have volume one in the store. They didn't have a lot of volume ones in the store, which understandable, but I'll probably pick it up as an ebook and read the second volume and I'll let you know my thoughts probably in one of my videos. The next volume I picked up was actually a light novel. I feel like I can't go to a manga store or go to a Japanese store without picking up a light novel. Classroom of the Elite. I was obsessed with this over the summer. If you didn't already know, I, I talked about it in my anime video of like a lot of anime I watched lately. Um, I'll link it down below in case you're interested. It was amazing. It basically follows these kids that are entered into this high school that's supposed to help them succeed in life and lead like the right path. And the entire like plot is basically the fact that the school is yeah it's supposed to set you up for like being really like good in society but it also puts you into a society of its own like they're basically fighting to survive within this high school in order to like figure out like how society works like politics um like pulling up the weak link within your like societal structure and each classroom is kind of basically their own little country their own separate society and they're competing with each other in order to become the best and basically yeah it's teaching them how to form their own societies and how society works but in the most brutal hands-on way possible <laughs> So yeah, I like it. It's a lot of mental manipulation. I'm a lot of high stakes. It's really amazing. So I thought I would, I would pick up the light novel. I think this is the one where like the anime leaves off of and I'll probably continue reading it online of the rest of it because I've heard it's amazing. So yeah, really want to continue the story and I'm happy that I picked up this light novel. Finally, 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 I left the best for last. I picked up My Hero, the latest volume. This is volume 29. Um, Yeah, this is insane. I don't really know what goes on in it. I don't really know why I picked it up either because I literally have not, I don't know what's going on past season five. I literally have no idea what is going on in the story past season five. I know a war breaks out because some of you hosts on the internet don't know how to shut up about spoilers for certain animes. I'm just saying a lot of y'all don't know how to keep your mouths shut. But season five, part of it was let down. The second half was like slightly better. I wanted to end up reading ahead and honestly all of the spoilers just have me like, like annoyed. So I just wanted to like catch up on the story, at least like see it glimpse of the future since everyone's kind of spoiling it anyway so I thought I might as well like read ahead and also the last season was kind of disappointing so I feel like I need more material in order to hold me over to have my expectations high for the next season so that's why I picked it up the cover is nasty you kind of recognize it from um, the memories that Deku has of him and Bakugo when they were kids and yeah this is the scene under the bridge so I already know this is about to be like an emotionally heavy volume and I'm really excited to get into it but yeah that's pretty much wraps up this manga haul uh, that's everything I got but yeah yeah, without further ado, let's get back into the video. What's coming next is Japan Fest, and that was a lot of fun. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay, guys, it's the day of the Japanese. <laughs> it's the day of the Japan Fest in New York, and like this is what we're wearing, right? So this is my outfit. I'm not sure if you can see us as well. Okay, look at our outfits. Like, bitch, we look like we're Japan school girls. It's we're kind of embarrassing. <laughs> we were trying to, but that's kind of how it worked out. So, yeah. I'm hoping no one stops us in the street and, like, assumes we're part of, like, what's going on. Uh, oh, well. Hi, Jane. We just got here and it looks so fun, but we're waiting on a few friends, so we'll see. We'll see what goes on with them. We're gonna wait for them before we go in, so it's like all Otherwise, of us together, yeah, but we're not gonna find them. it's very, very fun. Yeah, we won't find each other in there. Love is love. Love is love. I know.
What are you eating this long ass tokoyaki line? Takoyaki. Takoyaki. <laughs> I feel like an old person. Like my legs didn't even know what sitting was anymore, but at least we're eating. I think my legs are proud when they sat down. They're supposed yeah. to look like that, right? Yeah. But I don't know. I, that happens to me a lot too. Wait, I take one for like... Oh yeah. I guess pizza tacos. Pizza tacos. Yeah. Wait, this hit. At least they gave us free food. That's true. I do like... Um, I get tennis balls. Oh, you said. It's literally so pretty everywhere. What the fuck? Yeah, wait, if you think. Oh my god. If you walk away, you're 